Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Seek to know the truth. When you hear an opinion and believe it, you make an agreement. It becomes part of your belief system. The only thing that can break this agreement is to make a new one based on the truth. Only the truth has the power to set you free. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 455, NASDAQ is up 240, SP is up 63, gold contract down $5.70, trading at 1761 an ounce. We got silver flat, $22.64 an ounce. Late sweet crude up a buck forty, $79.03 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note down 11.6, trading 131.23. The 30 year off a full point at 159.03 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 213 ticks, trading at 93.989. Euro out here at 115, yen at 111 and a half, and the British pound is at 136 to 1 US dollar. Excuse me, folks. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. I want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we get a bounce happening out here. You know, we came down. First off, we, we get down to the benchmark. So your benchmark out here, the first benchmark, we're dealing with that the, the 19th of July. 19th of July, the high of that was that 431. The low was uh, 421. You had volume out here of 147 million. We get down there yesterday. To 426, you closed out at 429, so you're above the high. Well, actually, one second, that's interesting. Closed at oh, yeah, 428. That's interesting. They, so the 420, 431. Okay. Oh, this is really cool then. So check this out. On the spy, what happened is that you actually didn't reject the price also. Normally what happens is this, folks. Normally you, you get down to the benchmark, right? And when you're into the benchmark, what markets love to do is that they'll either go to the bottom of the benchmark or the top of the benchmark, okay? Bottom line, what ends up happening is it didn't close above it yesterday where the queues did. Well, eh, let me go through it anyway. So bottom line is that we're, we're bouncing, you're bouncing on light volume, and we'll see whether this thing can get up to the uh, four, Body three area. Now, which is really cool, one of the tigers were just telling me um, that that also happens to be the 50-day moving average. So let's put it up there and see what, oh, look at that. Man, that's weird. So I'm not a user of these 50 days. I, I look at them sometimes, folks, okay? I just don't, that, there's, there's nothing wrong. I mean, trend setting is, these trends work. Uh, that being said, though, the reason I was going there was that that's ice also, and that's what markets like to do. So this is actually really cool actually because when you are coming up to a 200 after you broke it and we broke the 200 with conviction I mean the 50 the 50 day moving average with conviction see when we broke down when we broke down you can see the volume there was uh, 166 million you gap down that's that's where I suspect we're gonna go and I suspect as we get up there it's gonna be with light volume and this kind of setting up right too actually because today's Tuesday you can go up all week, you hit it on Friday, um, you know, we, we see where this shakes out. Okay, so the, uh, the Qs, the Qs come down to the benchmark. The benchmark on the Qs was 352. Uh, now, this is what the difference is, and, and this is where my take is that we're go going lower, and this is what it is. So picture the benchmark at 64 million shares traded. Well, we got down there with uh, 76 million. So now you have another high volume low. You're bouncing today on 36, so we'll do about 46. Same setup. And we'll see whether the Qs can get up to this at 372. And if we put this on it, what do we have there? Oh, look at that. Same number, man. That's weird. So 370, 370.12 is the number on the Qs. And the, the Qs actually broke the 50 and the 100. Uh, saved itself today from the 100, but there's, there's some problems in paradise out here. Gold. Gold contract out here wants higher price. Uh, gold contract has, has had its problems, that's for sure, man. Uh, bottom line, that being said, uh, gold's moving the other way now. We're, we're down 580. Uh, you're at 1761. That's inside day. Yesterday we had a low of uh, 1747. Today you got a low of 1748. 
We've done 146,000 contracts out here. And yesterday, what do we do? Yesterday you did uh, 166. This is building cars to get up to the top of the range. Top of the range is that 1836 number. Notes and bonds. Now, let's take a look at these notes and bonds, because that when earlier today, yeah, it's still light volume. Okay, these still want higher price. This is going to get intriguing watching this out. So, you're down 12 ticks on the 10-year. We're at 131.22. That being said, you're coming, look what you're coming into. You're coming into 2 million contracts as well as 2 million. So, we did 2 million. Uh, on the low, we did 2.4 million. Next day, you did 2 million. Next day, you did 2 million. Next day, you did 2 million. Now we're backing down 1.3. Backing down 1.3. That's saying that we're going to basically, you back, you go up with volume, you backing down with lighter volume. That's saying higher prices are coming at us. King dollar. King dollar uh, did get back inside its lower range yesterday. We hit, let's see, so we hit yesterday 93.678, and the lower range is uh, 90. Oh, no, we didn't do it. No, we didn't do it. What's it? Yeah, six, seven, eight. Now the lower range starts at ninety-three, four thirty-four. It looks to me, though, the way this is set up right now, that we're actually building cars to get back inside that range. And if that's what we get, folks, what you'll get is this: when you can't bust them up, you're going to bust them down. When you actually break out and you have a major break of a swing, which this actually did, and you fail, that is saying that you go to the bottom of the consolidation, which is eighty-nine five hundred. So. We'll see where this is going to go, uh, but the bottom line is that it looks to me like you are building cars to get back inside to go to lower price. Oh, we got to go look at the oil market, man. <laughs> this oil market, something else. So the oil market's up a buck forty-six. You have volume behind the move. We've done forty-one thousand con, four hundred eighteen thousand contracts. That's good contract volume, too, man. Holy cow! This is all about inflation, man. But so picture this for a second, too. We're go we're doing these types of numbers in the oil market. And that's with the dollar higher. When, if, in fact, this dollar goes lower, um, you know, oil's going higher. Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 479. We get the NASDAQ up 246. S&P's up 66. Stay right there, folks. Come on. Come right back.